What is up everyone? I figure I might as well start this vlog off, so welcome to the Ditlo. Anyways, welcome back to my channel, and if you are new, welcome. My name is Meg. So for the vlog today, I've done so much stuff I probably should have been vlogging. But anyways, I had to hop on here because I just finished doing my makeup and I'm freaking obsessed with it. Um, and I wanted to come on here for a PSA. If you're an Ulta Platinum member, you so I know sometimes emails can like get lost, but they have a coupon for a free Clinique foundation. And I went with the even better makeup. It's a lighter coverage. Oh my gosh. Don't mind this I have really sensitive skin so like I had an itch and if I just scratch it it turns really red um but anyways I went with the even better foundation and I'm like freaking amazed by it I will have a first impression review video coming out in probably like the next week or two on my channel um so I highly highly recommend this it's a little bit of a lighter coverage but I just think it looks so beautiful and flawless so I had to hop on here and tell you guys about it and then also if you're a platinum member there's a 20% off coupon I think that expires on the 27th so next weekend and this foundation coupon expires November 3rd so in case you missed it double check your email because it's a really really good deal um what else that is about it for now. And can I just say, I'm already getting freaking eczema on my skin. Like, normally when I've lived up in the Midwest in the past, my skin would get really bad and crack and I would get eczema and stuff in the middle of winter and the harsh of winter, like in January. And it's halfway through October and my skin is already like cracking. I don't think I'm going to make it through winter. And P.S. I'm wearing the Friendcation palette on my eyes. I may do like an updated everyday makeup because this has kind of been my go-to. And if you're interested on the Dose of Colors and Katie Collection, I have a playlist with a review, with tutorials, everything will be listed down below. Hi, baby! Hello! Hello! Hi, pretty girl! Are you jealous? Do you know one's paying attention to me? Yes, she does. Whenever Nobody I pet pays Mandy, attention she has to the lady. Come stick her big nose in. Hi. Those are big. Eleven dollars. These are cool looking gourds. I love Halloween. It's my favorite time of year. Also my favorite holiday. Yes, don't steal or not pay for stuff, people. Get it together. So cute. I don't really want to give away where I live, but there's a little tree, and this is where I decided to put the gourds and pumpkins, and I think it looks super cute. The next day. Today, besides rocking a mullet. I don't know why. I felt like I could get away with it more when my hair was brown. <laughs> Anyways, besides rocking a mullet today, I am off to volunteer at an animal shelter. So for the shelter that I'm at, they require you that you take a dog walking class. 
Um, so that is what I'm going to be doing this afternoon. So I'm going to bring you guys along to show you some of the adorable animals that are at the shelter. Um, one thing with shelters, if you have animals, obviously it's good to like spend your time with animals that need love because our babies at home get plenty of it. Um, but if this is something, sorry, my hand is like shaking really bad because I just drank like half a Red Bull. Um, but if you feel like you're not ready for the responsibility or you're not in a position in your life where you can have an animal but you love animals, go down to your local shelter and ask if they need any volunteering assistance. Um, animals that are in the shelter, obviously, they don't have as much space as they would if they were at a home with someone. So just even spending time with them, some days no one might go to a shelter depending on where you live. So just going and spending some of your time there and showing the animals there some love, it's a great way to like get your feet warm if you weren't sure if an animal was right for you, et cetera, et cetera. Or like I said, if you're not capable of having one at your home right now, going down to the shelter and spending some time with them is an amazing thing that you can do. Her monster. Yeah. You're so cute.
So I'm wrapping up here at volunteering, hanging out with Precious, little 10 year old kitty. So we did the dog walking. So we basically had to walk two dogs, take them in and out of the cages to show that we know how to do it. Hello. Cute little baby, little 10 year old kitty. what it looks like coming home from the animal shelter. My dog is all over me. It is crazy weather outside. Um, let me try to get into some better lighting over here. So this is a little bit janky right now, uh, but I'm trying to use a little bit of window light that I have. It's like four o'clock and it's like completely gray, almost dark outside. But I just got back from orientation and I'm exhausted. So the whole point, of orientation for the dog walking is to show that you know how to let the dogs out of the cage without them darting out. Um, so basically you have to use like a blocking technique with the kennel to re be able to reach in with the leash and hook them on their collar before you can open up the kennel door all the way. Don't want dogs running through the shelter and then we had to show that we can handle walking the dogs so we had to take them on a short walk and then they have huge fenced in areas in the back that are outdoor kennels and I mean when I say kennel people probably think a small space but you can see from some of the footage it's really 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 large so you can also they want you when you walk the dog take the dog into the large outdoor kennel play with it for a little bit they go over about how dogs have different toy possession so to reduce the risk of getting bit. You never wanna take a toy that the dog is currently playing with. So if you throw a tennis ball for the dog, you don't wanna pick up the tennis ball they brought back to you. You wanna throw a new one, um, just so you don't accidentally get bit by a dog because a lot of times with dogs, they're under a lot of stress in the shelter or you just, just don't know their temperament quite yet. Um, and then after you play with them for a little bit, they recommend that you take them for a walk because some dogs get stressed if they're outside and they're always out in the outdoor kennel. They might not want to and resist when you try to take them out. So that's why they just want you to walk them, play with them outside, walk them again, and then to show that you know how to, again, put them back into the kennel without them getting out. So you had to do that with two different dogs. <laughs> Pork chop was quite rambunctious because as I was getting ready to bring him back in, a family came outside and they were very excited about him. They kept like calling him over to them and I tried to explain that I was a volunteer that they needed to go talk to a staff member because they were trying to take the leash from me. So <laughs> uh, it's good that people are enthusiastic, but you gotta make sure you have those boundaries. So I started sweating quite a bit, trying to keep him under control. And then I had an older dog for my second dog, so she was a lot easier to go about and handle, but yeah, I definitely got rained on as well. And it's healing outside right now. So that's fun. But anyways, um, I really liked doing that. And then I got to play with the kitties a lot. As you guys saw, I love the kitties. I personally think I'll go a lot to play with the cats because of course dogs tend to get more attention. And when I do go for the dogs, um, I think I'll try to focus on more of the older dog, dogs because I know that they're not as um, adopted easily as puppies and younger dogs. Plus a little bit bonkers being there on a Saturday because it's a big adoption day, so there's just a lot going on. So I think it'll be a lot calmer going during the week. In conclusion, if you like animals, they even have hamsters, guinea pigs, smaller animals like that at the shelter that you can go and play with. Um, I highly recommend looking into your local shelters, your local rescues, and seeing if that is something that you would be interested in doing for volunteer work. And it's also a nice stress relief for you as well. That is going to wrap it up for today's vlog. Don't forget to check out my other videos. They are right here. Thank you so much for watching. Leave me a comment down below with what you'd like to see next. And I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.